What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome to an analysis of the upcoming game, Kirby Fighter Z. So, I don't know Japanese, but I'm going to try and translate this best I can. First of all, we're introduced to this game, which shows 10 individual power-ups. Starting off, we've got... Any day now. <laughs> we've got Sword Kirby, who looks like a pretty standard, typical play. These are most of the emote, or power-ups you can use in the Triple Deluxe version. Beam character looks more like a mid to long range fighter. I'm going to analyze, or analyze this sort of like Smash. Uh, Ninja looks to be more of a long range character and sort of like hit and run. Archer is definitely a long range character, sniping people from afar. Hammer Kirby is going to be up in your face, doing powerful damage the whole time. Cutter Kirby looks mid to long range, as he's using his boomerang a lot to try and keep enemies at bay. Fighter Kirby is going to be all up in your face, fighting with that Shoryuken! Uh, classic fighter. Parasol, I really don't know what to think of. Parasol looks kind of wimpy, if you ask me. Bomb Kirby looks definitely long range because that bomb takes a long time to spawn. Whip is getting all of the combos. Look at how many hits there were. All up in your face. And altogether, they're going to play a whole bunch of different roles, especially when there are multiple people battling at once. Now, something really cool introduced in this uh, Kirby Fighter Z is that there are going to be team battles. So you can do one versus one, and in Triple Dux you can do free for alls, but now there are team battles. So you can do two versus two. As is being shown, I can't really determine whether or not Friendly Fire is on or if it'll be an option. You can also do 1 versus 3 to really show to your friends that you're the best at this game by destroying all of them. This looks relatively fast-paced, somewhat slow. You can see there are item boxes that show up in this new item here, which is some sort of cannon that's going to fire a ridiculously powerful laser. I'm a fire on my laser! Blog. <laughs> and this is a team battle, so you can see two Kirbys are actually operating it. In a 1 versus 3, now there are three Kirbys operating it and it fires an even more powerful laser, it appears. They're healing items. There are a bunch of different items that are going to play a lot of different roles in the match, introducing some RNG, some skill with the items, but obviously your own skill is going to be important. This mode, uh, well, not this mode, this is just showing that there are a bunch of different stages, and the backgrounds are interactive with them, and I love that they incorporate the 3D with them. So you can see Dynablade, the hands coming through, the lava. There's a lot to interact with these stages. It'll be a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to all the different types of stages. You can see a whole bunch of different items that showed up in the game. Look at this star, which I've never seen before, and it's going to put every enemy to sleep, allowing you to set up for whatever you want to do, really. There's the Gordo, which, like in Kirby, uh, Air Ride will expand and shoot out all the spikes as soon as you place it. There are a whole bunch of new items that are going to be introduced, some that many people haven't seen before or even really used. Now, one thing you're going to see here are a couple different modes. There's two of these. One, look at the stage, too. That tower is just amazing looking. You can do two players up against a boss like Krako from the main game. And then, this looks like a uh, King DDD clone, sort of like a multi-man melee, where you're trying to take down a bunch of easy enemies really fast. And it's t based on how well you do, you unlock certain items, like customizable appearances. Notice his cutter helmet is different than the standard one. And I would imagine you could change like the color of the band for the uh, fighter band, your hat for Sword Kirby, whole bunch of stuff. I'm looking forward to it. And if you haven't yet, you should play Kirby Triple Deluxe. This game is great. And I'm looking forward to this edition. Uh, you should definitely check it out. However, this isn't the only Kirby announcement that was made. Upcoming, we have King DDD's Drum Dash Z, which is another expansion on a mini game from Kirby Triple Deluxe, which is a lot of fun. There's a specific trailer for that, which is coming up right now. Now, in this game, you're set along this path of drums, which you need to bounce on and collect coins and sort of stay in rhythm to try and get a high score. So what you're seeing here is uh, you start off by bouncing, you bounce on the center of the drums to keep mo moving forward. If you bounce on the rim, you'll like essentially fall. If you press A as you hit the drum, you'll do like a, you'll increase the height of your jump. And if you continue to do that, you'll further increase it. That's what you're seeing right here. And this helps you avoid obstacles, collect coins better, and something they're adding to this mode more so than others, uh, you'll see coming up. Now what you're looking at is the introduction of like the offbeat. So you need to time when you're pressing A in between jumps to create sort of like a string, like a combo to get bonus points to really build up your score. And at the end, your score is tallied up and you get medals, bonuses for not taking damage, collecting all the coins, um, beating it before the time is up, having a perfect offbeat, and they all add up to really give yourself the best score. Now there are enemies to avoid and you can get damaged. These gongs are new and they appear to make more coins um, show up, which is crucial to having a good score. These numbered like coins um, seem to be really different. 
I don't know exactly what they do other than give a point bonus if you get them in the correct order. Now there are more interactive obstacles that show up as the game goes on. And this sort of like carpet or this curtain is covering the upcoming obstacles. So you have to be really paying attention and looking forward. Also, you just saw that King DDD got a heart which is able to heal, which wasn't in the original one. Overall, it looks like they'll be adding a lot more songs, uh, a lot more levels to the game, making it a lot more difficult. Um, increasing the challenge, adding a lot to it. I don't know exactly. Look at these scores. They're huge scores. So maybe it's your sum of all of your scores on the levels up until that point that are like your sum, your total score. And that determines whether or not you get a gold, a platinum, or a bronze, or whatnot. Now, this mode looks really cool. Introducing more instruments. That looks really intense. You notice the tempo is really fast. A lot of button pressing to get a lot of instruments in there. And it appears if you do well, you can unlock new masks to customize your character. I don't know if those um, will actually have benefits. They'll increase the power of your character or something. But regardless, it's always cool to have customization in a game. So, I'm looking forward to King DDD's uh, Drum Dash Z and Kirby Fighter Z. And it appears if you have Kirby Triple Deluxe, you'll get these three extra masks right away to have fun playing as whichever character you like. King DDD with a Kirby face is always pretty funny. So, I encourage you guys to check out these games when they come out. This looks like it's more of like a downloadable content to actually get it going, but it should be fun, and I'm looking forward to it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis, and if you did, please uh, like it and comment on what you're looking forward to most in the upcoming game. And I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.